Okay, so uh, during the appointment, um, one of the things that you're doing during this appointment prior to and during the appointment is you're constantly thinking logistics. You're thinking dates and times and all of the different pieces of the, pu pieces of the puzzle that have to fall in place. So you come to the property, you're, you're asking all these questions. We're looking at when do they want the house sold? When do they need to move? How long is it gonna take to prep the house for sale? What are they gonna have to do on their end to get it prepped? Do they need to, are there repair items they're gonna need to do? Are, are there staging that needs to happen? Um, is there, um, they, do, they, do they need to get a storage unit and move out a bunch of clutter? Do they need to do some painting? You know, you kind of have to figure out how long is it gonna take between the day, the time you finish this listing appointment and the time that they will be ready for photos. And then you gotta calculate that and you gotta think, okay, if we, if it's gonna take two weeks, we take photos on this day, and you have to estimate how long it's gonna sell the house, or what it'll take to sell the house, and then kind of determine what their move date might be. Best case scenario. But as you're thinking that through, you've gotta coordinate these different people. Oh, we need to get a stager out here, we need to get a painter out here. Maybe you're participating in that in terms of logistics, or maybe not. But either way, you've gotta think about how long is that gonna take and is it a reasonable amount of time. Now, the next big one is photos once it is photo ready. So that's, you gotta be thinking from the date you've met with your seller, what needs to happen until we can get to photos. Then when you schedule the photographer, it's the same thing. You're calling the photographer, you're looking at your schedule, you're looking at the seller's schedule, what date and time, and you're also looking at weather. What's going on with the weather outside? It looks like it's going to snow next Tuesday. Maybe we don't wanna take photos. Maybe we should take photos a little bit before that. Um, it looks like, hey, we've got a sunny day coming up. You know, um, on Wednesday, let's try for Wednesday. Just be thinking through all the factors would give you the best shot at having some great photos taken. Um, so you're gonna call and coordinate the date with the seller, with yourself and the, and the photographer. Um, then uh, you're, gonna go, you're gonna meet the photographer at the home and they're gonna take the photos. In that, op in that window of time, don't just hand over the reins to the photographer. Yes, they're good, they know what they're doing, but be active and one that I, I really is important to me is that front shot, that, the picture from the street to the house. I wanna make sure that I've got that money shot because that's gonna be the first photo that goes up on the MLS, Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, everywhere on the internet. That first photo is the first impression people will see. And that based on that first impression, they're either gonna click through and look at more photos or they're gonna move on to the next one. So I want a great and uh, first photo on that list. Um, also, you need to think about beyond just regular photos, still photos, do I want to do Matterport photos? And if you wanna do Matterport photos, again, it's coordinating with the photographer. Does he have a Matterport, photo, uh, a Matterport camera? We have one at Bellwether that they can rent you can rent, you could go do Matterport photos if you wanted to on the property. But then when do we do the Matterport photos? The other one is drone. Are you gonna do drone video? So are you gonna coordinate that? Again, weather related, um, who's gonna do the drone and, and how does that all work? Do you want drone video as well as drone still photos? Uh, how does that all work? And then uh, do you want a Zillow walkthrough video? That's gonna be an additional charge from the photographer, but I like the Zillow walkthrough videos because then I can post it up on the Zillow site and I feel like it gets a little bit more views um, from people there. Uh, the last piece of the puzzle is once all the dust has settled, we've gotten our photos, they get delivered to you, you've got the photos in your inbox, just make sure that our bookkeeper and that our team assistant can, has copies of that invoice as well and copies of those photos so that we can archive them appropriately. All right, good luck with some great photos.